Here we're going to tie a parachute atoms. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread here at the front of the hook. And I'm only going to take it back about a quarter of the way and we're going to tie in our parachute post first thing. For that we're going to use some white calf body hair that I've put in a stacker and stacked so that the tips are all nice and even. And when you handle this calf body hair, I want to make sure that all the tips are going to face forward on the fly. So when you pull it out of your stacker, try to do so with your left hand so that all the tips are facing forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie this in. We want our calf post to be about the length of the shank of the hook. So I just kind of roughly measure it out. We're going to tie this in just a little bit less than the quarter portion of the fly, so quarter of the way from the eye. And I can trim out the excess calf body hair. Trim out any extra long pieces. Then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap a few wraps right behind where I trimmed and then wrap back up on top of it. This will help secure it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that calf body or calf body hair here and pull it all up. I'm going to take my thread and jump right in front of it. I'm going to lay down basically a thread wedge, which is basically a big ball of thread that I'm wrapping right up against the calf body hair. What this is going to do is make it stand up. There we go. And that's enough where I can take my first wrap around the entire chunk of calf and if it leans forward on you just take a few more wraps with your wedge here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this post just a few wraps about an eighth or a quarter of the way up and I'll wrap back down and if you have some stray fibers, you can just get in there and trim those out of there. Cover all those up now. What I'm going to do here is just build a little mini ramp that goes from the hook to the thorax region. I'm going to take my thread and jump it right in front of the post once more. I'm ready to tie in my hackle. For that I'm just going to use a dark barred ginger feather, a whiting dark barred ginger feather. I'm going to tie that in right in front of the post. Then I'm going to take my thread and jump around the post here and wrap it up to the top and then come back down. And you can trim that stem out of there. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the tail. For that I'm either going to use a brown or a dark bar ginger hackle feather. I'm just going to tr pluck out a few fibers here. If you can, try to grab about oh, a dozen or so. That should be enough. We're going to tie these in about the length of the body. I'm just going to do a clean tie in here where I just trimmed the ends here. I'm going to take the hackle feather all the way back to the bend. There we go. Now the next thing to do is dub the body. For that we're going to use some Adams Gray super fine dubbing. And the first portion of this fly we're going to dub very very light. I'm just going to put basically enough on to coat the thread and then I'll work it forward gradually building up the taper as I work my way forward on the fly. Got a few fuzzies here. Trim those out of there. And we're going to continue to dub the fly. 
all the way to the eye. So I'll just add a little bit of dubbing at a time. I'll jump in front of the eye or in front of the post here. Make sure I get the eye. I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I'll wrap back. Make sure to cover up the little spot you can see on your side of the camera there. It's the hardest spot to get because when I'm tying I, I don't see it because it's facing the, the other way. So I'm going to try to cover up all that by just doing a few wraps around the thorax. And I could pull off any of the extra dubbing. Then I'm just going to let the thread hang on the far side for now. I'm going to take that hackle feather and pull it down. And I'm going to wrap it. Basically when I wrap this, I'm wrapping down the post from top to bottom. Once I get to the bottom, I can capture this feather by just taking my thread and wrapping underneath all this hackle with a couple of nice tight wraps. Once I've done that, I can trim out the feather. Now we can whip finish. For this, I'm going to use a regular whip finish here. Here, you can use a larger one, saltwater one, if you have one. I'm just going to whip finish the same way that I secured the feather, just a few wraps. And then you can use a little bit of head cement if you like to get in there. Just take a needle, put a dab of head cement up under there, and that'll keep the fly from falling apart. And that's all there is to a parachute atoms. Give you a better view here. And that's with a clean tie off so you don't have any trapped fibers or anything like that, you tie it off below the hackle. And you can buy all the materials for this fly, including the whiting feathers. I used a uh, pro grade dark bar ginger rooster cape. Uh, that's my favorite thing to use, but you can use a whiting 100 pack uh, size to your fly. This here I think is a 16, so you just buy a size 16 whiting 100 pack and uh, that'll do the trick just fine.